Hi guys. I hope you are doing well. This is a full tutorial video on Stabbot. I think this bot is better than other leveling bot because it doesn't just add levels to members, but also detects inactive members and remove the roles from them. Now, if this has piqued your interest, you can continue watching the video and follow me. This way, we can set up this bot together. Now invite Stabbot to your server. I've already invited it. Now go to your server settings, click roles. Now this part is interesting, you need to place Statbot's position above all the members' roles. This will allow the bot to assign and remove the level roles easily. To make sure it works smoothly, I also gave admin perm to the bot. Since this whole thing is about leveling, we also require level roles. I have created the level 5 and level 10 roles. Make sure they don't have any dangerous perms. Also this ain't compulsory, but you can enable this toggle, this will show the roles separately in members list. Anyway, you can create as many roles as the bot's free plan allows you. So yeah, also you don't need a level channel for this bot. Since this work is done, let's head over to the bot's dashboard. Here, you need to log in using your Discord account. Now select the right server if you have more than one like I do. Don't get confused by this, just click setting on the left hand side. You will come to this page, now click permissions. Now under basic, there's elevate manage server. Means if you turn this setting on, any member server with manage server perm will have the full access over Stabbot. I suggest you turn this off. Under advanced roles, you can pick a role, mostly admin role. They will get access to the Statbot's dashboard. In allow stat role above user role, let's say, if you're a moderator, you could still assign a role that's placed higher than your own role. To be honest, I prefer to keep this option turned off as well. In command access level, keep this thing all. It will allow members in your server to check their level. Under dashboard access level, you can keep it admin only. Now it's time to add roles. Click stat roles, which is above permissions. Click plus add button in green color. Under general, write your stat role name. You can add anything. I will just type level five. In discord role, remember we created the level roles? You can add that. In condition, you can find many options. I only understand message and voice. Since people text more than doing voice chats in my server, I will pick message. Now, let's click the edit. Label is optional, you can write anything. I will write level 5 condition. In limit type, there are three types. I only understand how the threshold works. Not sure about top and day range, those two are complicated. We will do threshold. Minimum number of messages is completely up to you. I will write 50, which means members need to send 50 messages to reach level five roll. Ignore maximum, no need to touch that. Under look back, I only understand the days section and not the other two. So we will only use days and keep the days seven. This means members need to send 50 messages in seven days to reach level five roll. If they have less messages than 50, their level five role will automatically get removed. Now in filter section, there's blacklist and whitelist channel. You can blacklist any channel you want and even blacklist the users. But you can't blacklist a role, I mean you can do it, but it falls under the premium perks. It's quite self-explanatory, so we will skip this part. You can figure it out on your own. Let's click save condition. Here, you will find a lot of options, like notifications, which is premium and you need to have a separate channel for that. Under advanced, make sure to select users. Don't select bots, otherwise, the stat bot will count the bot messages too. Now click run preview. Basically, here you see all the details of what happened. That's it. Now click plus create stat role. It will add your role. Now let's do level 10 role. I won't show you everything here. In fact, I am skipping most parts since it's gonna be a big video. In message requirement, it's 100 messages in seven days. The rest, everything is the same. I am just gonna keep two roles. You can add as many as you want. Now I wanna show you a little demonstration of how it works in my main server. First, I clicked edit, then preview, then click show all results and hit run preview. Here you will see a list of all the members who has received the level 5 role. These folks have been super active in my server. 
If you scroll down, you can see the folks who lost the role, but in my case, nobody has lost the role yet. Now let's do stats feature. Under the time range category, there's look back feature, you can see it says 14 days. I will explain what this is easily. Now this is my main server where the look back is 7 days. Let's run this command called slash top, this is leaderboard. Basically, this will show you the data of 7 days. If I change it to 14 days, it would show me the data of 14 days, and it's the same with 30 days too. I will change the days to 7 since it's perfect for me. I will also pick days and not date or all because I don't understand the other two. In the time zone, you can choose any time zone you like. If I'm not mistaken, it will reset the message counts. I mean, since I've set it for 7 days, it will stop counting messages at the time you've selected here on the 7th day and then start counting again. In interval and the time unit, I will let it be as they are. I have learned a valuable lesson in my life if something is working for you. Don't mess around with it or change it because you might make it even worse. In users and bot, just select users because you don't want bots to join this, trust me. About voice states, I seriously don't know since we don't voice chat in my server. Everybody just texts. In channels, you can blacklist the channels that you don't want bot to count their messages. In this case, I'll do bot channel or command channel or maybe even meme channel since people just spam there. In members, you can blacklist a member, just like you did to a channel. Now I don't know how activities work since you need to enable tracking which is a premium feature. If a Stabot staff member is watching this, feel free to sponsor me if you like this video. Maybe then I can cover all your premium features too. Since this part is over, let's learn about their another feature called general. You can see prefix. This is used to run the bot's command. You can even change it if you want. I will run the commands and show you. Now let's check my level and number of messages. I will use S, user. It shows almost all the details about you of the messages you sent in seven days. Now you can even check the whole leaderboard and see where you're standing. By the way, this also comes in slash commands. Moving on, command not found error seems quite interesting. If you enable this, if you typed a wrong command, it will warn you. Now I am sure you know what command channels are, you can blacklist a channel, and members won't be able to run commands there. Or, you want to know something cool? You can just turn on the toggle and make it whitelist channel and members can only run commands in that channel. I think this one is a lot easier. Dashboard access level should be admin only. So yes, this is it guys. That's all there is to learn about Stabot. If you face any problems, you can join their Discord server the devs are super good. And you can join my Discord server too for decors and layouts. Anyway, if you liked this video and found any value, hit that like and subscribe button for the video to get into algorithm.